last March 15 when they announced the lockdown. It's very hard for all of us. It's very challenging because I abruptly had to close all my branches. So just like that, 260 employees lost their jobs. It's an understatement to say that this might be the hardest crisis that we have to face. So we closed 200 restaurants even before the lockdown. The restaurant business, contrary to what a lot of people think, it's essentially a numbers game. And if the numbers don't make sense, then everything else that we do is thrown out the window. And we've also thought about things as far as like how our staff would be given salaries despite not having operations. So we decided to give away 13th month pay, give a 5,000 just for this time of crisis. As their boss, I try my best to reach out to each of them. Every two weeks, I send them goods. Our restaurant outlets are used to seeing a 90% contribution from a dine-in population. As far as Foodie Global concepts is concerned, we were already moving into a higher contribution from our deliveries and takeouts. Recently, we came out with a take-home ramen kit and something that I'm sure surprised a lot of people because we're also known for our very strict no takeout policy. The mistake of sacrificing an abandonment of core brand principles in order to stay relevant. I also own Mom Made, which is a manufacturing company that makes um, ready-to-cook frozen dishes, healthy dishes that are all natural. So about a week after the quarantine, I opted to open it and accept orders. This crisis has done for us is it really pushed us to expedite these things that we feel that are needed in this type of crisis that we're experiencing right now. We are able to do everything that we have been unable to because of a lack of time. Everyone knows that the world is going through a global pandemic. So all the contact points must be identified and also be transparent to the users. There's no shame in showing vulnerability and sharing the journey with your people and I'm sure everyone would appreciate it. I think um, the government should help us in terms of granting low interest loans help us rebuild our businesses. Offering the customer what they need when they need it, being convenient, and you have to be aware of how the situation is set up because there are barriers now in place that are preventing you from succeeding. You're going to have steps on how to make sure that we know every single person that has touched the package. Because you know, you, you tend to fear that someone from your company might get sick. Consistency is, and responsiveness. And if you were to carry out something right now in order to engage your customers back to you, then you still need to pay attention to that. Now is a time where we need to step up and be there for our people. Let's work on this together. Support each other, to pray for each other. We're making sure that after this quarantine, we bounce back even stronger. We can all stand this one. We can get through this.